Yo YouTube, what's going on and welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance. Today I'm going to have a lockpicking guide for you guys. Not how to lockpick or anything like that, but pretty much how to power level your lockpicking to get levels as fast as possible. Because as you know, in this game you can't unlock very hard chests until you're a certain level. I think it's between 9 and 15 or something like that. They can vary on uh, very hard locks to pick uh, what level you have to be to get that to be able to pick that lock uh so i'm going to show you how to level them up as fast as possible um I'll show you exactly where we are on the map i'll go through the skills real quick first uh there's not a whole lot that you need to look at in the skill tree uh one that you definitely want to get is deft grip that's just the starting position the lock pick will be closer to the end of the lock making it easier to open uh the other ones silent fiddler those two i would recommend getting uh, the rest of them really don't matter. One thing I will say is don't get Master Thief until you have your lockpicking maxed out as much as you want it to be maxed out. Uh, because I'm not sure, but I think if you use Master Thief, which allows you to unlock easier locks automatically, I don't know if it gives you the XP for unlocking it when you do it automatically. I'm not sure. I haven't tested it, but just a theory, I would say it probably doesn't. But... Just to be on the safe side, just make sure that's the last one that you last skill that you pick if uh, you want that one. Just don't get it until you're done leveling up, which it won't take you long to level up to one. What I'm about to show you, go ahead and show you where we are on the map here. We are just west of in 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 the glade right here. Uh, Neuhof is just to the uh, east as well, so you go west of Neuhof along the road here. And you get to the end, <clears throat> then you go right to the end, keep on heading west, and you end up at this little farmhouse right here. I can't remember what the place is called. I think it's actually called Burning Farmhouse or something like that, or right something like that. But yeah, it's right here, just west of the end. Uh, and we're right here, as you can see, right here. And there are five locks that you're going to uh, lock pick here. And you can reset them really quickly, and you can continually hit them all night long. I'm going to show you that process here in just a moment. Um, the locks are very easy and easy locks. Now the difference between the XP difference you get between doing a hard lock and an easy and a very easy lock isn't that much difference in XP. That's why I think this is the quickest way to do it. There are a couple locations where there's a couple hard locks that you can do back to back. But also it takes longer to do a hard lock. Uh, there's a chance you might break your lock pick. So on and so forth. These easy locks you can blow through in about 30 seconds. All five of them. And then you can reset them within another 20 seconds. And you're back in to locking them, lock picking them again. And you can do it all night long. So I think like the X XP difference might be like 5 XP difference. From a hard lock to an easy lock. Or a uh, very easy lock. So it's really not that big a difference. This is why I think this is the quickest way. But we are here and I'm going to go ahead and wait till nighttime To show you exactly what we do. Show you how I'm going to take you through it. Show you uh, how to do it first. Nice and slow. And then I'm going to show you how to do it fast. Alright it is nighttime here. I'm going to give it a second for uh, all these people to make sure they're situated and they're in bed. And pretty much what we're going to be doing is we're going to be unlocking... Uh, three locks inside this house right here and then we're going to be running across here and we're unlocking two locks over here <clears throat> it's pretty simple pretty easy stuff to do uh you want to make sure you're not making a bunch of noise of course so take armor off or whatever it is you need to do to get your noise down as little as possible so you're not waking them up when you're walking around but you shouldn't be unless your noise level you're like full plate armor or something like that you should be fine so like i said we're gonna go ahead we're going to start with this guy here. Hopefully they're already in bed. We're going to hit this. It's a very easy lock. Actually, hold on. Before I do that, I want to show you just how much XP you can get from this, okay? So, I'm going to go over to my skills. I'm going to go down to lock picking. And as you can see right now, well, this is going to be hard. I have 253 XP, and I need 290 to get to the next level, right? So, we need 37 XP for the next level. So, we'll have to add 37 because we're going to level up doing this right now. I'll add 37 to whatever we get. End up with current XP on the next level. So 253 is what we're at right now. Let's go ahead and start. Ooh. 
we unlock this door here. Go ahead and open it up. We come straight back here to this door right here. Unlock this one. Open it up. You can turn your torch on too if you want. There's a chest straight back here. We go ahead and hit this. There we go. We just leveled up in lock picking. Now we're going to run across the way here over to this one. We're going to hit this door. Take a left. Open up this door. That person's going to be sleeping there. So I say silent filter is good. Uh, if you're really low level, you might wake him up, but if you get a couple levels on you, you should be fine. And we unlock that one. We woke him up actually doing that, so. And let's take a look. I'm going to run out here, go to sneak real quick. And we're going to take a look at how much XP we ended up getting from that. See, we ended up with 37. Uh, we needed 37 to get to the next level. So we ended up with 74 XP for that. What, what took me 30 seconds to unlock all those locks. And I'm going to show you uh, how to do it fast and how to get it reset and all that stuff. Okay, here we are again. We'll look at the experience one more time. We are at 37 experience right now. And we're going to run through this again. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do it quick. So, uh, you do this as many times as possible in a night. Go ahead and start with this door here. Move right on back here to the next door. Get this chest here. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to run and jump on this guy right here to wake him up. I want them to get up so they reset their locks. Now I'm going to run right over here. Go to sneak. Go ahead and start picking this one. Go right in here, get the chest. And if we didn't wake him up with that, we're going to jump on him. Make sure he gets up, and then we're going to run out here. And we'll run right through this uh, little archway here. You don't have to go all the way to my horse, but go to right about here is fine. We're going to go ahead and go to sneak, and we're just going to hit the wait. And hit the wait button. To skip time and we're gonna hit start as soon as that dial starts moving a little bit go ahead and back out of it and now all those doors should be closed again all of them are closed again and you just repeat the process again hit all five locks again do it that exact same way right in here and wake this guy up jump on his head say hey how you doing run right across the road And jump on his head as well. Then run right out the gate. And we do the same thing. Go to sneak. Hit wait. Hit start. Dial starts moving. Back out. And as you see, the doors are shut again. And you can just repeat the process. Uh, now let's take a look. I ran through it twice real quick. How much XP we got. We had started at 37 uh, XP. I had just ran through it twice and we are at 182 XP and it took me two minutes 
to run through that twice. You, know, you, can, you can hit all five locks and have them reset in a minute. So that's almost 150 XP. Uh, actually, 145 XP in two minutes for lock picking. I think this is the fastest way to level up lock picking. And the reason you have to run all the way out here, by the way, is uh, this person here. Like, if you just run over here, go to sneak and wait. Like, whenever you come back, he's going to be standing in front of you being like, Hey, what the fuck are you doing here? So, I like to run these little patches of flowers here. Uh, that's as far as you need to go. Just get into this little grassy area, go to sneak and hit wait. And then just continue to do this all night long. Uh, you should, like I said, power level up. We started tonight off at uh, uh, level 8, right? And we're already halfway through level 9, and we've done it like three times, four times, so... You do this all night long, power level it up, and yeah, man, that's my guide on how to power level lockpicking. If you have any questions, make sure you leave it in the comments for me. Uh, anything like that, if you found it helpful, make sure you hit the like, sub, all that good stuff for me. Much appreciated, and we will catch you guys on the next one. Later.